Unsung Freedom Fighters of India who deserve our salute, Velu Nachiar. Rani Velu Nachiar, from 3 January 1730 to 25 December 1796, was a queen of Shivaganga state from C. 1780 to 1790. She was the first Indian queen to wage war with the East India Company in India. She is known by Tamils as Viramangi, brave woman. With the support of Hedder Ali's army, feudal lords, the Marutu brothers, Dalit commanders, and Thandavarayan Pillai, she fought the East India Company. Velu Nachiar was the princess of Ramanathapuram and the only child of King Chellamuthu Vijayaragunatha Setupati and Queen Sikandimuthathal of the Ramnath Kingdom. Nachiar was trained in many methods of combat, including war match weapons usage, martial arts like Valadi, Silambam, horse riding, and archery. She was a scholar in many languages and was proficient in languages like French, English and Urdu. She married the king of Shivaganga, with whom she had a daughter. When her husband, Mutu Vaduganatha Periyavodaya Devar was killed in a battle with EIC soldiers in 1780, she was drawn into the conflict. Velu Nachiar ran away from Shivaganga as a fugitive and sought the help of Hedar Ali. Hedar Ali helped her with 5,000 soldiers and gunpowder weapons. Initially Hedar Ali refused but later agreed to help her with soldiers, arms and training. Velu Nachiar sought the help of rich merchants as well. After eight years of planning along with support of many feudal lords, Tipu Sultan, Marudhu brothers and Thandavarayan Pillai she fought against the British East India Company. When Velu Nachiar found the place where the EIC stored some their ammunition, her commander Kuili made a suicide attack on the ammunition depot, blowing it up. Nachiar re-inherited the kingdom of her husband, and ruled it for ten more years. In 1790, she was succeeded by her daughter Velachi. She granted powers to her daughter with the Marudu brothers to help with the administration of the kingdom. Velu Nachiar died a few years later, on 25 December 1796.